Hello collective, welcome. Ascended stars, can you see my dream sign there? I think the M is missing. Uh, Ali J, welcome. And we're gonna be doing an angel astro rune reading. I'm putting everything in the hair. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, let's look at the ascended masters and see what we have. I hope everyone's doing well. I did want to say I was inspired to do an angel reading again today and welcome all newcomers and whoever is popping back again, returning. Uh, really appreciate you. Uh, yeah, so what I was going to say was um, I woke up to an ambulance. I woke up to the sound of an ambulance. So that was quite telling. And um, so be alert, be aware truth and integrity we have some really good runes we got love twice we got peace twice so <laughs> it really is like the 1960s love and peace love and peace age of aquarius all right we got i love it let's see what else we have um let's pick everything now and then we'll do the meanings all at once oh i think i'll put the feathers right next to the runes it's gonna look super pretty uh, all right, so I hope everyone's hanging in there doing well um, and enjoying their life, trying to get by. You know, it's very draining. I'm very tired, but uh, my mind is going completely like, doo -doo 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 -doo, super fast. So I don't know if that's the Mercury retrograde in Aqua that is making more mental activity, not less. But right around the corner, my loves, Venus is going direct on the 29th. And perhaps a lot of the sluggish feeling will be lifted. One more, one more, and we're almost there. Okay, let's see. Let's move everything a little bit up so we can see it. Okay. Right on, here we go. Ascended Masters, the Miriam, sacred vision. So this is like Gemini energy, the twins. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. Ascended Master message, number one. Ascended Master message number two is Diana's here. So stay focused with your intentions, focused intention, excuse me. <laughs> um, think about what you desire, Venus energy. Set your sights higher. Expect the best possible outcome. So you really have to think highly of yourself and um, make decisions in accordingly. Next one is Dijual Ko, Dharma unfolding. So people who have good energy that they've done good things like volunteer like uh you know organ donors all these beautiful things that people do caregiver care, caregiving all of that without um a desire or intention alternate no, uh, motives that is your dharma that you have reaped so that is unfolding right now it's like good credit in the universe right so remember that you are on a path, take one step at a time to happiness. I'm sorry guys, my eyes are really bad in this uh, light, but I'm doing my best. And that's all we can do. Moon cycles, okay. <laughs> I love the moon, okay. Haniel, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles gentle be gentle on yourself so that means that everybody's like super sensitive there's secrets here that people are their their own emotional uh, sensitivities things are, are coming up to the surface okay that's what i get things uh cycles are coming up to an end but also emotions are coming to a service surf surface and people are super emotional serenity people just want to be uh in peace they don't want to fight they don't want to argue it's time to listen and not to speak so much, but to just be and pay attention. And yep, yeah, and people, some, okay. So my collective here has a, um, people who are in their life to help them understand their clairsentience abilities. And that is 
coming from Archangel Raggio. Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Clairsentience is um, basically when you feel things, like you get an energy, you get a nervous energy, you, you, you can't like... <laughs> It could be considered ADHD in a way right now because the way things are going with Mercury and Aquarius, but it is over mental activity. Um, Uranus is on top of Taurus, so it's like this buzzing, like a like a buzz kind of electrical, you know, wiring. Like you know, it just it, it also that could be a manifestation. I'm being told here of things that are not processed. And so you have to really be very careful around certain energies when it shifts too much and you're not comfortable. Let's leave it at that. Okay, so let's go into the runes here. So we got joy, love, and Pertha. Pertha. So this is um, uncertain meaning. It does represent the female body organ. It's secret. It's a secret matter. Hidden things, occult activities, knowledge of one's destiny, Association to the feminine things, of course, like fertility and intuition. It also um, is evolutionary change, fellowship, and joy. Oh, boy. All right. Then we have peace and love uh, reversed with the key. Okay. And then, then we have Iwas, which is this rune. It means transportation. It's representative um of horses two horses in particular the number two okay transportation a car a plane a boat a vehicle any movement and change for the better gradual development so that's interesting because this both represented gradual development in no sense steady progress harmony teamwork trust loyalty and ideal marriage <laughs> Ooh, baby all right or partnerships confirmation beyond a doubt when you're root okay so oh okay so it was here around love so love is not the key <laughs> no love is the key but somebody has their has their heart to love being the key and somebody's not at peace right now because probably because they do want love and peace and joy but it's all of like a very mysterious energy to them and then as they move towards it it's like they're not getting the love and peace and joy and it just takes a while and they want it now okay so they want to have maybe divine feminine energy they want to move towards it they want to be like in that place of you know mushiness and happiness and enjoying each other's company but it's not happening in the now that's the only thing i can see there and then the next ruin the final one which is on the sideways which i would represent as uh inaction it hasn't manifested yet it's Fehu. So Fehu has earned abundance, one possessions, financial strength, money in the near future, plenty of success, happiness, social recognition, plenty of success, fertility as well. Man, somebody can get pregnant over here if you're in those, um, yeah. If you're not protected. Okay, so here we go with the feathers. We have Heron. Let go of convention and follow your own unique path. <sighs> okay, nice. I like that idea. <laughs> it's about like separating yourself from other people and having like focus. It's about your community. It's about being gentle with yourself. It's about this next moon cycle. That's very significant in regards to making moves. New rhythms are coming into your life. Right now, you are encouraged to trust and adapt. Look how cute this guy is. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, he's so cute. The flicker. Okay, and the grooves. Embrace the power of dance and movement to access your highest guidance. So music's very important, my love. So this is going to help us to stay positive, to move in that nice direction of where we want to go, to not let anything deter us, uh, distract us. And um, let's see. Positive intention is the last card for the angel message. Number 15, 14. 
and let me read it to you positive intention sorry for the glare everything that happens to you and everything that comes to you in life is the result of an intention a seed planted at some point in the past this is now coming to fruition be conscious of the seeds you are planting today with your thoughts your energy and actions be to ensure that your dreams and desires can become a reality tomorrow remember we reap what we sow all right beautiful and the affirmation says i am aware of all that i create around me i abundantly fill my life with light and love from all the seeds of light i sow i will harvest the greatest richness Harvest season. Woo woo. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> much love and light. Oh, I forgot. I want to do the astro, right? <laughs> oh, God. That was a nice ending. But now we got to do the astro. All right. The astro says planet Uranus. I knew it. There's this nervous energy. There's It's like ramped up. You know, that uh, that thing that they're doing on the internet. Okay. Uh, Uranus represents freedom, discovery, and originality it may expand your mind with new knowledge adding distinctive and unique elements to your individuality uranus energy is resourceful and inventive and uh was well, innovative is the one i want i like yeah uranus gathers research and information from the world around you it may spark original ideas and innovations ding 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 or generate resolutions for humanitarian causes, 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 whatever. Uranus insight is full of surprises. Surprise! It's your anus. <laughs> the awareness it brings can sometimes be shocking, but the first perspective may ignite radical positive changes in your life and in the world. Now, why in the world did they make this so dark here? Okay. Thank you so much. So yeah, um, you guys, God bless. Have a good day. And let me give you one more <laughs> card. <laughs> I don't want to say goodbye. The angels don't want to say goodbye. The angels want to let you know that they're here, that things are going to be uh, evasive and luminous and mysterious because of this moon energy. But um, don't think the worst because the angels are here. Okay, so that's the last final message, I guess, that I, they, they wouldn't let me leave without telling you. And the, the, the letting go, okay, it's because you're still letting go. We're still letting go of things that are, are really not ours to let go of. But some of us made arrangements to come here and deal with letting go, even though it's not our stuff. So um, we just, we have to work through it as a collective. Because there are some people who are carrying more weight than others, you know, like some people have had, you know, so much stuff happen to them and it's like the letting go is much harder. It's a number six too, which is our year. Joy after letting go. Okay. Beautiful energy and grace and new beginnings shortly after. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Thank you guys. Take care. Um, have a great day and um, it's time to just be isolated while you're doing this it's like a new birth it's like a baby coming into the, into the world but you have to release and this is the hardest part for now and I did feel the Saint Germain crown chakra energy earlier so it's our thoughts don't let your thoughts carry you away into some um, stuff that is too negative so turn off the, the TV if you're watching the news get ample rest. You'll find that you'll need, need more rest breaks too. Okay. Thanks.